Hey, welcome back to the channel. It is Peter Day here, and um, if you're new to the channel, I'm the guy on the right in the car photo. My brother Tyler Day is the guy on the left. I'm going to answer a question that came in today on affiliate direct um, linking. So the question is basically, should you be doing direct linking or should you be doing landing pages? And the answer to this question is highly dependent on your traffic source. Um, my brother and I have been big Facebook affiliates for the last seven to ten years and on Facebook you really want to stay clear of direct linking if you are an affiliate because um, let's just say you join an affiliate network they give you a link and you put it into Facebook that link might be banned prior to ever doing anything on Facebook. It could be banned um, just because someone before you was the culprit of getting it banned. Does that make sense? So you could join an affiliate network, they give you the offer, you haven't done anything wrong, but then um, the link could just be pre-banned. Like maybe some affiliate like six months ago was running some dirty ads on Facebook or something and then got um, the link banned so what would happen is if you went to run it you could get disapproved instantly on the Facebook ads worst case scenario you could even get your Facebook um, account ad account instantly um, shut down as well for even trying to run the banned uh, link so what I heavily recommend is that if you're going to direct link you should be doing it on a platform that is more lenient towards the direct link like Snapchat or native ads um, or something like that. If you're going to be using a traffic source like Facebook or Google AdWords or Bing, um, one of these sources that are more kind of um, strict on your URLs, you don't want a direct link because it's just not worth the, um, the risk. It's not worth risking your approvals or your account, um, at least on Google, if it gets disapproved, it gets disapproved. Google has been a little rarer um, to delete or suspend entire accounts and stuff uh, just for a bad link. But on Facebook, it's been really finicky. Like if you put in some affiliate link that affiliates have used in the past um, and that link is banned by Facebook, um, it doesn't even have to be that link. Affiliate links have a lot of redirects um, going on in them. Um, check this out. I'll show you this um, tool redirect detective this tool is kinda cool because it kinda um, shows you where your affiliate link redirects to I don't have an affiliate like I don't have a window open right now with an affiliate link but what you would do is if you if you put in the link right here you just put in the link that the affiliate network gives you right here and you'll be able to see like how many times the link redirects um, before it gets to the final offer. Sometimes it's a lot of um, times because sometimes the affiliate network has like multiple tracking links that it goes through and then the advertiser routes multiple tracking links. And this is one of the reasons why the direct linking has also gotten banned on Facebook is because of the massive amount of redirects. Like what if you put in an affiliate link and what if it redirects like five times before reaching the final destination? When you usually just visit the link, you might not really notice that. But if you go to redirect detective and you put in your affiliate network link and you um, press go, it will show you um, all the redirects it, it can identify and again usually it's usually it's just tracking stuff it's like um, sometimes it could be like the affiliate network gets the link and then it then redirects through their volume and then it goes to the advertiser site and kind of goes through a sub ID on the advertiser like sometimes it's it's not it all means well from the network and the advertisers perspective but um, Facebook might not like this like two to five times redirecting uh, stuff that could be going on with the direct affiliate link. So my answer for the question of should you be um, direct linking in affiliate marketing is that on Facebook I'm going to say it's a pretty hard no unless uh, maybe you own the offer or you <laughs> have a white label domain or maybe the 
network has set you up with your own custom link but that's been kind of difficult to do like I've asked networks to set me up with my own custom link and it's just been sometimes they've just been annoyed about it like why do I have to make an entire custom link just for you and like are you even gonna do anything if I give you the cut you know what I mean it's like there's been a lot of pushback with the custom link because it's a lot of work um, and sometimes the networks might not want to give you a custom link because what if they spend you know an hour setting up a custom link for you and then you don't even like run the campaign or something so I think instead of trying to do the direct linking if you can get away with it great and if you can find some clean links to direct link with that's absolutely great um, but in general, you can never go wrong with just sending to a landing page. Just send the traffic from Facebook to a lander, then to the offer. Um, as long as that lander is on your domain and it's your landing page, it's very rare, um, almost impossible, that that would be banned right off the bat. Like maybe if you run some bad ads that Facebook uh, doesn't like, maybe that could get banned over time. Your own landing page could be banned potentially over time. But is very rare that it would be banned pre-existing. The issue, like I said, with the direct linking is that you could be banned prior to ever doing anything and then you don't know that and you go to use the direct link and then you can get the account shut down and this and that. So the best answer for this direct linking is, again, it really does depend on traffic sources though. Like if you take a traffic source like Snapchat or some of the native ad platforms, they really do not care if you put in a direct link that is redirecting like six times through an affiliate network like snapchat and some of these native ad networks do not care um, but facebook google and bing they do care um, so the answer is highly dependent on traffic source and highly dependent on just like what the direct link actually is is it something you own is it your affiliate offer do you own the affiliate program is there something that makes the link very clean to where it wouldn't be uh, banned by Facebook so those are my answers to that question um, I'll leave you with a few resources too. make sure you join our uh, affiliate group so you can go to Google or Facebook just go to affiliates ask anything is our uh, Facebook group here and a little bit about ourselves too if you're new to the channel you're just watching this for the first time like I said, my name's Peter Day, my brother's Tyler Day. We have been doing affiliate marketing for about 10 years. Um, we've earned over $10 million of affiliate commissions um, in the space. We failed for about three or four years, had a breakthrough, and then it's been kind of off to the races from there. So if you guys have been struggling for some time, I mean, we struggled for like three or four years, but then one of our biggest breakthroughs was uh, we just got personally coached by someone and that personal coaching was so um, eye-opening it kind of launched our entire business off so that was one of our biggest breakthroughs um, was that personal coaching so some resources we have we have our blog optimized to convert we have the um, YouTube channel which you should subscribe to just hit that bell hit that subscribe button below um, this video and you can go to our channel here on Optimize to Convert. And what I was showing you as well is our Facebook group, Affiliates Ask Anything. This is a free group you should join. It has over 6,500 affiliates in it. And this group is great because you can ask questions to other affiliates. Even if you don't have a question to ask, you can simply just see what other people are saying. And people are talking about all different stuff, Facebook ads, tracking, um, they're asking questions like, is this a good offer? Um, have you guys heard of this affiliate network before? I'm thinking of joining. This is the top um, affiliate group right now on Facebook. There's a lot of other groups where it, it's just like spamming and all this just junk. And there's no spamming in this group. In fact, what we do is we have moderators. If someone presses any kind of spam, they're instantly banned and removed from this group so this group is clean only value the spammers are kicked off of this group and it's really high quality so join this group um, subscribe to our channel and I hope this answered that question about direct linking so again if you've been watching this and you've been hey direct link has been working for you great but if you're thinking of direct linking if you're thinking of direct linking think twice because that link might be banned prior to 
even putting it in your Facebook account, okay? So um, I hope these answer those questions, and I'm actually going to head off uh, for the evening here. It's getting a little bit later, but what I'm going to do is over the next few days, I do have some videos I'm going to make. Um, I want to get a, a review of a software. Uh, ConvertKit is a good email software. I want to talk about that and review that, and there's some other things um, that we'll be covering this week as well. So check out the other videos on the YouTube channel, some of the back content, and I'll see you in some of these videos later this week. This is Peter, and we'll talk soon. All right, bye.